Yeah, ginger, fenugreek, coriander. <laughs> Cardamom, allspice, cinnamon, paprika. Okay, so we did seven <laughs> spices and we divided them. I remember three and Chai remembered four. We're making <laughs> fish butter curry. The spice mix that we just um, sang to you was is based on Berber spice mix, which is a Ethiopian spice mix, but um, there's so many variations. And Chai, uh, you're from Mauritius and yeah. you have kind of similar masalas or spice blends, yeah. right? Yeah, we do. In ours, we have coriander, cumin, um, Ginger, garlic, dried chilies, we have curry leaves, and if we're cooking fish, we'll add carom seeds. Oh yeah, so those are really nice for fish. They're really nice for fish. Yeah. Do you but have spice mixes in this? Oh, place? well, you know, there are spice mixes for different people from wherever like they come masala? from. So you have uh, a Yemeni mixes for people who come from Yemen, oh. and then you've got Baharat. I mean, there's different spice mixes, but I'd say it also depends on, on families. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, the Mauritian masala, every woman will say mine is the best, so everybody makes a different version. <laughs> so my mom is my mom's is the best, I have to say. Your mom is the best. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to quickly start off these potatoes. So our fish curry um, has potatoes in it, mm -hmm. um, which will bulk it nicely, but they go all nice and soft Yes. Uh, with the fish. and. And these, these um, baby potatoes or new, new potatoes are really perfect for this. If they're small enough, you don't need to cut them and they'll just kind of sit there in the curry with the, with the fish and it becomes all nice and lovely. We're gonna cook them for up to about 20 minutes. It depends on their size. And then as soon as this is hot, we're gonna start searing the fish. This is hake. Uh, which is a nice white firm fish, but you can use other fish. You can use pollock, you can use cod. And I'm gonna add some olive oil. And a bit of salt. And ideally, uh, we'd love to leave the fish for about 10 minutes, just so that the spices uh, start to penetrate in the salt to so get more flavor in there. But we can skip this stage now and start okay. searing the fish. Okay, so I'm going to add 15 grams of butter and, in there. Uh, and the fish has been sitting in the Berber spice mix with a bit of olive oil and a bit of salt. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we just sear the fish, so kind of yeah. give it a little crust on the outside. Just kind of put those in here. I think we can see all of them in this pan. get all in there. This is just big enough to hold all the fish. Can we? Yeah, I okay. think you can squeeze that in. We're browning the fish, so it takes only about two minutes on, on each side. So if your pan is a bit small, um, you would do it in two batches so that the, the fish doesn't start to stew and, and exude all this liquid. Oh, this one has a nice color. Yeah. Take the fish, you kind of don't want to break it, so I'm going to use this, this little spatula. It's really helpful to not make it break into small pieces. The fish is really it's got a beautiful color. It's really important to be quite gentle with your fish. It doesn't matter if it flakes later in the curry, it's, it's all part of the rustic charm. It's but it's quite, uh, it's also good not to, for it not to break down completely. Yeah, so as long as you gentle. can keep the pieces more or less intact, you're good for, for later. The butter goes in in three stages. This is the second stage. With, the first stage was with the fish. And now we're going to uh, saute some shallots and some green chilies. And now at this stage, we're just gonna cook the shallots and the chili for a good five to seven minutes so then on not too high a heat so they don't start to burn on the outside. And this is where we're gonna tease out all that wonderful sweetness. And the potatoes are boiling here as soon as they're ready. Mm -hmm. Firm, but cooked. We'll take them off and then finish okay. everything in the pan. This recipe is actually not from uh, shelf love, but it really it, it works within the way we think at the moment, which is to just utilize things that you've got on your shelf. So mm -hmm. we're using that Berber spice mix, uh, which has got seven spices. Do you still remember yours? Um, cardamom, paprika, allspice, 
and Car- in cardamom. You said cardamom. I said cardamom. <laughs> what was the other one? Paprika. Paprika. There we go. And Ooh, uh, just about. <laughs> and I've got uh, ginger, coriander. And the last one is fenugreek. Fenugreek. And but it doesn't have to be that Berber spice mix or or a variation on a Berber spice mix that we made. It could be uh, your favorite masala because mm. this fish is very very flexible. It is very flexible. And it is all as long as you've got a bit of heat, you've got a little bit of that sweetness. You've got those those spices. You can use the spices that you want to use up. And if you want to follow a recipe, you can follow a recipe. And if you feel confident, you can just. Do it as you like. Yeah, make your own spice mix. Are the potatoes ready? Yes, I think they're ready. I'll drain them. The onions are golden and they're sweet and you can smell that. Can smell so them. we add some garlic now. Yeah. The garlic should only cook for about two minutes so it doesn't burn. We've got some tomato paste and the rest of our spices. So the, the, the spice mix all goes in now. And then we have a bit of butter left over as well. A bit of butter left over. I like that smell. Oh, it's so nice. I can't wait to eat this fish curry. We'll eat it together. Yes. So the tomatoes go in now, and now everything else essentially goes in. Fish stock. Mm -hmm. And the coconut cream. Coconut cream. You know, in Russian cuisine, we have so many coconuts, we don't use coconuts. You, sorry, you don't have so many coconuts and you don't eat coconuts. <laughs> you don't speak too fast. No, we have so many coconuts. We have coconuts everywhere. We drink coconut water, we eat young coconut, but we don't cook. We don't put coconut in our fish curries. Really? Yeah, I think it's, um, it's from being colonized. So you had to make do with the leftover things. So the coconut cream, etc. was not available to you. It was kept for the bigger houses. And the coconut is such a joy in this in this context. I mean, it's just it's such a wonderful. We have thing to use to it. I think now they do, but when we were growing up, my grandma wouldn't, my mum wouldn't. You know what? We forgot to add what? at this point the potatoes. Uh, well, it was still time. It's not even yeah. bubbling. No, it's no, okay. no, that goes in at the same time. Okay. It's a little salt. And all we need to do now is yes. now bring it to the boil, and we just let it simmer for about. And 25 minutes. 25 minutes. In the salsa, we've got uh, scallions, spring onion, mm -hmm. chopped up. Yeah. And uh, one centimeter dice of cucumber. You only need about a third of that cucumber. Coriander or cilantro chopped up. Yeah. And some lime juice. And the green more. chili. And I'm just gonna gently put the fish back, trying to keep its integrity. So you just want it to kind of keep its shape. And the fish, really, as soon as you put it there and it's bubbling, mm. it won't take more than two minutes or so to cook. So you need to be fast, quick with your salsa. It's quite important when you put the fish back in, not to let the, the, the sauce bubble too ferociously or it will break the fish. All these flavors, good flavors, can go back in. Fish juices. Can I steal your uh, onion and chili? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Cucumber. Come on, while you dice your cucumber, I'm gonna get some of that lime juice. And you want quite a lot of lime juice. It's really important, the curry is really rich, mm -hmm. and that lime just brings it back to life. This I'm is like having a pickle on the side, isn't it? It is like a pickle, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this is why, you know, curries so often have something light and refreshing, yogurty or citrusy. Yeah. Because this has been cooking for a long time, it's got all the spices, and this just brings a hint of freshness at the very end. Got some coriander. A bit of olive oil. A bit of olive oil. I need some salt. Thank you. We kept a bit of the coconut cream that went into the sauce. There's some more here, so we're gonna finish it off with the salsa and a bit of coconut cream. That's ready. Thank you for the salsa. Oh, it looks beautiful. And 
I just think it looks it looks best if you spoon some of that salsa on top of the stew. Not I all agree. of it. Just a little bit. Some of it for servings, uh, and most and most of it for serving, and some of it on here, just to get these beautiful green specks on your as you bring it to the table. It just looks so majestic. So that's Ooh. kind of it, and all that could we could serve the rest. With and then I'll just give a drizzle of that coconut cream and I think you did you did you add a little bit of water here to just make it a bit more pourable? Yes, Which it was a little too thick. Because they always they vary the coconut creams. They do. Uh, so you, by adding a little bit of water. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Yeah, we've got some flatbreads, boo -boo. I mean, a curry does need a good flatbread, doesn't it? It does, for dipping. And this one has potatoes, so that's, you know, double carb. The carbon carb is so it's good. I love carbon carb. But obviously this would go beautifully well with rice, that's if you don't want to make or buy flatbread. Rice is carb too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. totally. I'm not saying not a carb. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another Thank carb. You. <laughs> that's for you. Thank you. And for me, okay. and forget the rest of them because they didn't really work very hard today. <laughs> <laughs> How do you want your flatbread? Just torn. Just torn. So we'll do here's half for you. Whoops. Thank, Thank you. you. That's half for me. And a tiny bit of that coconut, coconut milk. Cream on top to add a bit of richness. And get some fish. Mm. That's and a good pair. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. The salsa is really essential. It is. Because that lime juice and that spring onion, cucumber, they, they give it a whole new dimension. Mm. It's something, it becomes almost a bit salady. Oh, we did, and we haven't spoken about the cherry tomatoes at all. Oh no, okay. They are just little little bombs of acidity and flavor. When you get one, it almost explodes in your mouth. 